Well, you've all probably heard about a flash mob, but have you ever heard about a cash mob? That is the latest thing happening in Schuylkill County, and it's brought to you by the Schuylkill County Chamber of Commerce. I'm pleased to be joined by Danielle Laudeman, who is the Events and Marketing Director, and also Samantha Chavinsky, who is the Member Relations Director. Danielle, I'm going to start with you. What's a cash mob? Well, like you said, it's essentially a flash mob, but we spend money. So um, we started this, we actually got the idea from one of our um, other uh, chamber friends. So we all share some different ideas and pass them around. Um, But that's where the idea originally came from. And then um, Samantha's going to talk a little bit more about it later, but we wanted to promote shopping local. So the cash mob is a way we um, will promote out to our members. We tell them, we are going to meet at a certain location. They have no idea where we're going. They don't know, the business doesn't know where we're going either. So they don't know that we're coming, that we're gonna show up. And then we all meet in one location, usually on a Friday at noon. And then we walk with our signs that say Schuylkill Chamber of Commerce Cash Mob. And we have some little money signs, different things like that, just to get a little bit more attraction to, for people to say, what are these people doing? How can we join in and where are they going? So um, then we go to the business, we surprise them, and then we just ask those that are walking with us just to spend a little bit of money, maybe five, ten dollars, um, and then we'll go to either retail locations or maybe even a restaurant. Now the first one was held where, and what was the reaction? So our first one was held in Schuylkill Haven, um, that was at Queen Bee Boutique, and the reaction was phenomenal. I mean, I think Samantha can chime in here too. Um, It was so much fun. We didn't really know what to expect from the first one, how much people would join in with us, how um, they would like to do it and if they really get into it. But we had a phenomenal reaction and people had so much fun. Yeah. And the great thing about it was we had people with us who had never been to Queen Bee Boutique before. So uh, that was a new way to introduce the business to new people so that they can then go tell their friends, hey, I was at this really great place. And then, you know, that's kind of what we're we're hoping for. Samantha, I would think that, you know, under normal circumstances, they would be thrilled that this is happening. But because we're in this COVID situation, that it's probably even more important that you're doing this and they must be extremely grateful. Yeah, I believe so. I think throughout the um, entire pandemic, we've been working on trying to promote our members as much as possible. Um, We've been really, really focused on uh, developing programs and services that support and promote our small business members um, and nonprofits as well. We really want people to know that if they want to shop, they can do it here in Schuylkill County. We do have a lot of shopping available. Uh, If you don't know about it, you may just need to do a little research. You can always check out the uh, Schuylkill Chamber of Commerce Facebook page or our website. We have a lot of promotions on both of those places that we can get the names out for our small businesses. And so now this is something that's not like one and done. You're, you're going to continue to do this, right, Danielle? We are, yeah. So um, we're going to do it probably bi-weekly. So we had one, like you said, two weeks ago, and we'll be doing one this week coming up. So it'll be on Friday, October 8th, and we think we're going to be going to Tamaqua. So we will have some more information out about that. We do have a place in mind, but like we said, we'll be keeping that a secret until uh, Friday, October 8th at noon. And then if anybody would like to join us, anyone is welcome from the community. You don't have to be a chamber member. We didn't have all chamber members with us the first time we had people from the public ask if they could join, and they had so much fun as well. And we do go live on Facebook as well. So if you can't be with us and you want to just join in and see what it looks like, we are live. Samantha does the narrating for us. She'll walk around and um, explain what we're doing, where we're at. And then um, if you're maybe in that town, pop on out of your business or your home and jump on in. Well, we're, we're showing some of your video. I was watching that when I saw all of this. I thought it was so cool that you were doing this. This is really great. Well, congratulations on the great work that the Chamber is doing. I think the cash mob idea is going to take off throughout other communities because that's a really cool idea. It's a great way for businesses to get new customers and for people to go in businesses they might not be familiar with. Congratulations. Keep up the good work. I hope you have lots of cash mobs in the future, and I hope the businesses do really well. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Today's news feature is brought to you by Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton. For more information on their specials, hours, and where you can find their delicious tavern pizza, you can call 570-454-6000 or you can visit their Facebook page.